Wow, I cannot believe I can say this, but it is finally here. The F-15E Strike Eagle by Razban Simulations. This all-weather, self-escort strike fighter is truly a game-changer. But is it really that much of a game-changer? And what does self-escort even mean? Well, uh, self-escort implies the ability to perform simultaneous air-to-air -air and air-to-ground weapons delivery. But Tuvas, I hear you saying. Uh, can't the F-16C Viper and F-18C Hornet both do exactly that? So what makes the F-15E so special? Well, to put simply, power. It can fly higher, it can fly faster, and it can fly longer. Plus, with its more powerful radar, it can see the competition from further out, fire from further out, and still have enough fuel and ordnance to continue on with the mission. And so that brings us to today. Today I've put together a fun little mission to show off the F-15E Strike Eagle's all-weather self-escort strike capabilities. I present to you Operation Buzzkill. Oh, and if you wanted to try this mission out yourself, check the description for our download link and let me know in the comments below what you thought. While we're taxiing to the runway, let's go over the mission brief for Operation Buzzkill. We have our crosshairs set on a couple weapons manufacturing facilities. Originally, these facilities were used to create weapons of mass destruction, but thanks to our Bodhi boys in Echo and Foxtrot Superbugs, as of yesterday, the uranium enrichment plant that supply these facilities is nothing more than a crater. Our task is to destroy two structures we know were used to create these WMDs one tech combine, and one workshop. Our route consists of two valleys separated by a mountain range. Steer points 1 through 6 is Valley 1. Steer points 6 through 9, nice, is the mountain range. Steer points 9 through 12 is Valley 2. At steer point 12, we will execute a pop-up to 15,000 feet in order to obtain a air-to-ground radar map of target point 13 and deliver times 2 Mark 84s to each structure. Steer points 14 and 15 is the egress to friendly territory, and at steer point 16 you will RTB for debrief. Alright, with the briefing out of the way, we're setting up our bomb so that we drop all four Mark 84s, two at a time, with an interval of 800 feet because, according to the briefing, these structures are 800 feet apart. Now that we have our weapons configured, I went ahead and started looking around the cockpit to make sure everything is ready for takeoff. But sure enough, I found that the flaps weren't down and trim was not set, so I took care of that. Rank. Rank. There we go, and one quick check on the left, and now we were finally ready for takeoff. All right, nice and lined up. I think I was double checking. Yep, I was double checking my hands were center screen and hit the brakes. And one final, final check because I always like to be sure I'm super duper ready. And sure enough, I appear to be. So when I hit the brakes, put up the throttle, go into burner, and check the fuel flow. There we go. And. I think around this point is when I think the nav flare will help me see the runway better, but uh, <laughs> decided that wasn't worth it. And we're looking for about 150 to 170 to start rotating, but as you can see, I am failing to do such things. Oh man, can you tell I'm new? <laughs> Landing gear up, flaps up, oh, control the sync rate. 
And this is when I start trimming for a 10 degree climb. Also, I'm controlling the fuel flow so that I'm only in about half burner during the climb. And now we're going to start heading over to steer point one. In fact, this is when I make our lives so much easier by using the autopilot to do that. And fencing in, turning out the lights. At least as best I can. It's really difficult in a VR headset. Master arm on. Okay, we're ready to go. See, DCS can look so good, but at the same time, if you look at the horizon, like where it is right now, there's so many jaggies, man. <laughs> so while it can look great, there's just those little things that really throw you off, and it kind of sucks, but whatever, it's it's okay. I figured you guys would like this, uh, this view, though. Also, being so high up, we can actually see a bunch of SA-10s, SA-11s, SA-15s, whatever, off in the distance. They're, they're not close enough to cause problems, just it's a little uh, ominous of what's about to happen. And we're approaching 10 miles and 30,000 feet, so just like that, it is now time to start diving. So we'll throttle back and coast all the way down to steer point one. Man, these clouds. Good thing we're in a Strike Eagle, because this thing's air-to-ground radar is fantastic. It was made for this kind of weather. Well, damn, there it is. Nafleer on, and it's time to start the mission. The goal here is to stay low, stay fast, and stay alive. So we'll stay as low as we can without slamming ourselves into trees. Stay fast so that if there's any kind of air defense, we can hopefully kind of wind our way down the valley and avoid it. But the real problem is going to be when a SAM starts trying to target us. Because that's going to be a bit tricky. The valley doesn't exactly give us many options to work with. Oh good, just a EW, that's fine. Oh, that's not fine, that's an SA-8 OSA. But it doesn't see SA, so it should be okay. Oh, <laughs> and now it sees us, fantastic. Pretty sure that means it's tracking us. Mm -hmm. In fact, you can actually see it right there in that lone tree area. Looks like we're in the clear. We'll just keep on going forward. In fact, we could probably slow it down a bit. Oh, wow, that was close. Don't pull too hard. Don't pull too hard. Don't want to get a hung store. No AAA yet. We'll keep on weaving and avoiding potential AAA. Nothing on the RWR. Oop. 
I say 15. Ah, jeez. Okay. That's gonna be fun. And it already sees us. Fantastic. Yes, I know. I know. Oh, there it is. <laughs> There's the launch. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Went off. Be with its own kind. That's all right. It's got to be careful. Stay low. Stay low. Stay low. Okay, I think we're in the clear. It's on the other side of that hill, so we should be okay. Oh, wow. That was a truck down there. Still no AAA as far as I can tell. So keep on weaving though, just in case. No, I definitely want the Nafleer. Those power lines stick out with it, so that's kind of nice. <laughs> oh god. If nothing else, this is a nice uh, neck exercise session. S.A. Dosa. Oh, wow, that was close. And it's already tracking us. God. Mm. Mm. It's okay. It's okay. We got this. Stay low, stay fast, stay alive. Stay low, stay fast, stay alive. Stay low, stay fast. Stay low, stay fast, stay alive. Please. Oh, thank God. Okay. I think we're good. We are good. Just keep weaving, just keep weaving. Weaving, 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 weaving. Okay, we're about to approach steer point number six, I believe. Oh, wow, there's another truck right there. Point six, get our fuel ready jettison. Coming back down over the mountain. Okay, this looks like a good spot to jettison. Build tanks away, bring it back to off. Okay, let's focus on the route. Throttle down, and... This is the part where we need to believe. Believe in the steer point. Trust in the steer point. Stay low, but not too low, just... Go straight for the steer point. Believe in it. Believe in it. Oh, thank God. Okay, cool. Ah, here we go. Valley number two. Let's bring ourselves back down to mill. Go. Oh, air to ground radar snap to target point 13. Get that ready. Double check our armaments. Pull up, pull up, pull up. Okay, we appear to be good. Uh, 
Okay, looks like another city, so we'll keep on weaving. Oh, there's the ground fire. Shooting that green stuff at me? Oh, still shooting. <laughs> Whoa! Ah, oh, that was close. Oh, Jesus. Another one. Okay, we'll play it safe. Just keep turning left and right. EWR. Oh, I just, oh, I just saw that ground fire there for a split second. It's okay. We're still weaving. Wow, I didn't run into any ground fire in Valley 1, but Valley 2, I'm just getting shot at constantly. Oh, well, tight turn. We can make it. Got yet another city. Let's keep on weaving. And there she is. Steer point 12. That's our pop up. Nothing on RWR. We should be okay still. All right, we're going to fly straight and give it some gas, get our speed up, ready for the pop-up. And pull, pull, pull. We're going to bring this all the way to like 50 degrees or something. Oh my god, all those Sams. Okay, this is high enough. Let's go inverted. And level out. Alright, let's get that target scanned. Meantime, let's level out. There it is. Alright, switch to target. Designate. Alright. We'll keep flying offset until we get our line of sight aligned with the two targets. Start turning in... now. Pull, pull, pull. Get them lined up. Alright, this looks good. Oh, okay. Hopefully this works. Time to release 30 seconds. I'm out. I'm out. Still lined up. Slow it down so we don't gain or lose speed. Holding pickle. Weapons away. Switch to air to air mode. Let's deal with these fighters. We can't run away until they go defensive. There we go, STT. Switch it to TWS. Can't snap between targets for some reason. Okay, here we go. And Fox 3. Switch. There we go. Fox 3. And we're out. Give them something to worry about while we run away. Oh, wait. Steer point 14 is already selected. We're good. Oh, there it is. Steer point 14. Make sure we step on the gas. 
and start climbing. We need to get to 40,000 feet and just pull a SR-71 and just fly away as fast as we can. Oh, I really hope I hit those targets. Forty-five. It's not too bad. Zero six nine for forty-five. Another pop-up group for 45. Sounds like a bunch of jets were scrambled. Oh, let's set this to conformal. Oh yeah, we have plenty of gas. Okay, we're good. We're good. We can burn all the way home. We're approaching 40,000. And here we are. Bubbling out. Okay. Awesome. Ooh, that was stressful. We should be in the clear. Uh, unfortunately, I couldn't get any external shots from this mission because the track replay went bad. But this Eagle Wall launched volley after volley of AMRAMs to cover our RTV. It's honestly a great sight to behold, so to not let you down, I've put a link to real footage of F-15s doing this exact tactic in the description below. Anyways, I bet you're wondering, what happened to the target? Did we manage to hit it? Well, unfortunately, no, we did not. As you can see here, there are bomb craters that are completely off target, meaning we didn't even scratch the buildings. Man, after all of that, I guess you could say that was indeed quite the buzzkill. But all isn't lost. For I have failed, you can succeed. Download the mission from the description, pick up the ball where I dropped it, claim that victory where I couldn't. I'm counting on you, and please, let me know in the comments how you did. Oh, anyways, thank you guys for watching. If you liked this video, please leave a like, and if you really liked it and like to see more of this kind of stuff, make sure to hit that subscribe button, and tune in next time for some more DCS World gameplay. Take care, guys. Have a nice day.